I don't know if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher ground, thinking that I'll be your sweet escape. These days gotta schedule the romance. They say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands. Oh shit, it feel like I'm floating, but I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Just in the water, she got my nurse tense. It's been a little bit rough, but nothing a little bit of glue can't fix. Got her right here. That's how we're gonna start our morning. Good as new. Water and chia seeds. You guys already know this, like fitness is an overall lifestyle. Fitness is something that you work towards every single day. It is not just like a one and done type thing. This is almost a full on lifetime commitment. That is why it is so important to move at your own pace, be super realistic with your goal, not just do it for looks, but also just do it for all of the other benefits that come with it. I've been working out for, I think over five years now. Your journey is never going to be linear. So glad that I finally accepted that because in the beginning when I would miss days, miss months working out or maybe I wasn't working out the best or maybe I was working out but my eating wasn't the best and I was binge eating and all of that stuff. I wish I saw it as this is just the time I'm in in my journey versus like oh my god like I'm completely failing. It would have just saved me a lot of doubting, a lot of self-esteem issues. I don't think it's bad to have goals that you want to work towards in the moment maybe like a year from now or two years from now. It's a great way to keep yourself in check and just to make sure that you're on the right track. It's a great way of holding yourself accountable and it gives you purpose. Knowing your why when you're going through your fitness journey is so important because if you don't have a why, you're just kind of going to be like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this struggle? Why am I challenging myself in this way? Having a why and having that constant reminder as to why you are trying your best to stay disciplined is something that really does keep you going throughout your fitness journey. Having little goals to give you a why, great in my opinion. That being said, I wanna talk about what is my current why. I want to feel good internally, I want to be overall healthy, I wanna be able to do things without an issue physically. The second why would be physicals, like feeling strong. That is another reason why I work out, why I enjoy working out. I think I mentioned this once in like one of my last videos, but I really want to build a great upper body routine. I want to love hitting upper body. Right now, I love hitting legs and I don't have an issue hitting legs. Legs, I can hit any day and I'll enjoy it. It's just so fun to me. I think a big reason why I enjoy hitting legs is because I can lift heavy and it makes me feel good being able to lift heavy. These past two months, I made it a goal for myself to really focus on having a great upper body routine. Also, building up my endurance. My endurance became trash over the last year because I stopped jumping rope. I really wanted to reintroduce some cardio-based workouts into my routine. I got a coach like about a month and a half ago to help me out with setting up a great upper body routine. I really wanted to mix the upper body routine with HIT. I'm doing it through this app called Copilot, which I showed you guys in my last video and a lot of you guys were asking me about it, the app it was that I was using to train. So I will be talking about that in a sec. Anyways, I feel like I already started my year with the right foot forward and I've been so consistent so far. So I'm really excited to show you guys my upper body routine.
and this is just stuff I need to put away, but we're gonna get to that later. <laughs> All right, guys, going back in time, we're starting with Tuesday, which is the first upper body workout of the week. I've been really loving wearing these like tanks on my upper body days. That's just because it's been so freaking cold. Since I am doing some hit on my upper body days now, I wear these tanks because I'm like jumping around and I don't want like anything to fly out. I'm going to wear this top hoodie. Let's see. Cute. Very simple upper body day fit. Okay, let's go. Got my energy drink ready to go. So, as some of you may have seen, I was using an app to track my workout last video. The reason why is because I actually got a trainer through Copilot. Hitting upper body has been one of my current goals over the last few months and I really wanted to kickstart this year and start really strong. A big reason why I was so excited to start Copilot was because you get assigned your own personal trainer. I actually customize everything to you. Work around your schedule, your routine, your goals, and what you like and dislike with training. I personally have been using Copilot for a few weeks now. I figured out like this is the best way to start and stick to my fitness goals, which was the best decision ever because now I love my upper body days. I'm seeing the results. And also, I'm remaining consistent, which is the most important part. It's improved my overall lifestyle routine as well as my fitness routine with making sure that I have a very nice scheduled week full of workouts. Don't get me wrong, having a great transformation is always a plus, but also if you're not building your consistency, if you're not building up your discipline with being consistent, you're not gonna get to where you wanna be. They focus more on helping you build consistency. Girl, my trainer through Copilot has kept me accountable. We text each other, she texts me to make sure that I'm good with my workouts and that I'm showing up to the gym. And then I text her, letting her know how my training sessions went. We also go on an onboarding call so that way we can get to know each other so we can figure out what workouts I'm trying to do, what adjustments I might need and all of that. And everybody say thank you to Copilot because they are sponsoring today's video and they are hooking you guys up with a free trial. Make sure to click my Copilot link down below to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. to start my workout step-by-step -step guided workouts and warm-ups so I'm gonna start my warm-up listen I know sometimes you don't want to take 10 minutes out of your day to warm up I get it I know I understand it takes a minute but it doesn't got to take that long just do a few little warm-ups um, before your upper body or lower body workout to get your body nice and prepped for the movements you're going to be doing here are some of my warm-ups for today's pull day reason why I want to hit upper body consistently is because I want my workout routines to be well-rounded and I want to have some upper body strength so I am able to lift certain things and not have issues and just overall build muscle because building muscle is never a bad thing but okay with that being said I don't really care to be jacked either I just care to be consistent and that's really all I want to get out of my upper body routine and if consistency brings me more muscle gains, more quote unquote toned arms, whatever, then cool. As I mentioned in the beginning, I do take fitness with a lifestyle approach. This is a lifestyle at the end of the day. If I wanna be able to maintain this lifestyle, I have to do things how I enjoy them. And that's kind of how I am enjoying upper body right now. Just kind of taking it day by day and doing it more so, so I can have a more well-rounded routine versus just trying to be super jacked. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I kind of don't really care to take it to that level at the moment. I'm gonna just see where my routine takes me 
and yeah but with being consistent comes results and over these past few weeks i've definitely been noticing a difference in my arms which is super cool to see so anyways moving on to the actual workout as you guys saw i just did some lap pull downs and then i did some seated cable rows then moving on to a tri set i'm doing dumbbell bent over rows dumbbell reverse flies and a dumbbell hammer curls and i'm repeating that three times one thing i do really quick want to mention that i love is if you connect your apple watch to the app they will actually let you know if you are moving too rapidly through your workout portion of this workout this hit workout is going to have a total of five movements we're going to be starting off by doing some body weight power step ups so if there's one thing i've learned from doing hit is that you don't want to go all in in the very beginning because then you're going to tire yourself out so what i do is i like to keep a very steady pace so i know i will get through the full hit workout completely after you do the five movements that is one set and you are doing three sets total i'm doing 45 seconds on each leg and then i am moving straight into jump squats by the way the copilot app does time you so that way you don't have to be looking down at your phone all the time setting timers etc it does that all for you so you don't have to be tripping while you're going through your workout Working on core and abs is another thing I wanted to reintroduce back into my routine. So I asked my trainer to incorporate some core movements in my hit routine so that way I could finish every upper body workout with core. I have mentioned this in the past but I don't really sweat it takes a lot for me to break a sweat but with that being said this hit workout for me was challenging and is challenging this was just my first set that I completed in this hit workout and I completed this two other times so there was three sets total that was the way that I completed this Tuesday upper body pull day workout it was so good typically after my hit portion of the workout I'm exhausted and I'm ready to go also is some cool down movements that i do sometimes as well but i chose to not do those today because i was like girl i'm done i'm done i'm ready to go home i can't as expected but got a cute little workout in today I'm so happy because my arms are coming in so nicely we're doing gray sweats because it's cold shorts underneath a little label tank gym shark hoodie on top Just 
tight with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all Okay, guys, so this is Thursday's upper body push day with hit. Starting off with my first workout, we're doing dumbbell overhead press. This honestly is my absolute favorite, but we are only going to be doing three sets of 12 reps. After I complete that, I'm going into superset number one, which is going to be dumbbell lateral raise with dumbbell kickback. With the lateral raise, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a bend at the elbow. And for the dumbbell kickback, you want to make sure that you hold it for a split second at the top. I'm doing 12 reps of each and I'm doing three sets total. Moving on to the cable area, I'm doing the next super set, starting with cable face pulls. I actually never used to do these because I always like thought they were a little bit awkward, but then I got used to doing them and now I love doing these. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. And then I am super setting that with a tricep push down. Again, I'm doing 12 reps, three sets total. Personally, have always been a fan of hitting shoulders and tricep. It was always my go-to when it came to hitting upper body. When I wasn't hitting tricep consistently, I noticed my arms just didn't look like they had any muscle on them. And then after hitting tricep consistently, my arms look so good. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't stop flexing my tricep now. I'm so happy to say that I really love my upper body routine now and I'm so happy with where it's going and with my progress and my consistency. I'm here, I'm living for it. And I can't wait to continue to document my progress for you guys. Now moving on to the hip portion of Thursday's upper body workout. We're going to start with medicine ball overhead slams. Again, I'm doing five movements total for this hip workout. I'm repeating one after the other, and that is one set, and I'm completing three sets total. If you have been keeping up with me for a little while now, you know that during COVID, I got into jumping rope. So I was jumping rope consistently for over a year and I got really, really good at it. But oh my gosh, girl, when I started doing burpees and these little jumping movements, it was like a whole nother level of intensity. And I think it's just because I'm not only jumping, but I'm also working my upper body and trying to maintain my balance and engage my core. Definitely a lot more challenging, in my opinion, than jumping rope. But I do have to say, I do thoroughly enjoy it because it's something new, it's refreshing, it's exciting. I don't know, maybe that's just the, the gym nerd in me talking. But I love it. I love a good burpee now. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, ending my first set of hit with some core. So I'm doing some side planks and dumbbell crunch and press and like i said repeating all of those five movements two other times to do three sets total and that's it that's thursday's upper body and hit workout
like my co-pilot link to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. I've been loving my experience so far, so make sure to check it out for yourself for free, girl. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, I'm so sore. Normally, I honestly wouldn't go to the gym if I'm feeling really sore. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit glutes. My quads feel really sore, so I'm gonna just really focus on glute isolated workouts and RDLs. I normally don't wear foundation like for everyday makeup now, but it looks pretty good. I didn't do any spot concealing just to see what the coverage was on it. Um, and it looks good. Like my skin looks perfect, to be honest. Anyways, on my way to the gym. I never meant to hurt her, but I... As I just got home from the gym, I'm going to make Thai coconut curry. Except it's kind of expensive, so I don't buy it often. everything out of the drawers and threw it on the floor so that way I could really organize and color coordinate everything all down here is supposed to be gym clothes I don't buy stuff often just because since I do work with gym apparel brands I don't want to over consume too much if I already have a lot of stuff my favorite way to store is to roll just the best way to see everything that I have the way I just was not recording you gotta be fucking kidding me I filled in some gaps here and then I do still have a few shorts I need to roll up. These leggings take up so much space. Literally look like little croissants. I've honestly come to the conclusion that if you are a fashion girly but you're also a fitness girly, it's really hard to store clothes because you need like double the closets. It's really bad. as good as it's gonna get for the leggings I don't wear leggings that often but I still have a little bit of space to add a few more pairs second drawer is all shorts this looks good this right here this is so cute I love this drawer because there's so much color in here these are all shorts once again I love that these shoes are up here because it just it looks cute bottoms are all here and it's done tops are kind of annoying to organize this is how I store my tops at the moment da -da -da. actually do have a lot of tops Styles. These are all sports bras, long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops. This is just what works in the moment. So this is just what I'm gonna do. This is what we're gonna rock with for now. Sports bras. Yeah, that doesn't look the cutest, but whatever. On this side, some sweaters. I'm dedicate this whole little cube to t-shirts. Sweats, but all of my sweats are in the washer. More sweaters at the very bottom. So I don't know how long some of you guys have been following me. If you're an OG, you would know that I have terrible skin. Terrible. And now look at my skin. Not that terrible. I don't know why, I think it's adulthood. But it's also kind of weird because I'm stressed all the time. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. It's been really blessing me on my makeup days for sure. One thing I did really appreciate about having acne is that it taught me to love myself no matter what I look like because I remember having acne and just being like, well, you know, I'm trying my best to get rid of it, but I'm not getting rid of it as quick as I would like to. So I just have to accept it and accept that I look good with it. And that's just that. And then I was just kind of embracing it. My flare-up was consistent for like a good year and a half. I think a good year and a half or two years. And I just didn't care. I just didn't care. I just continued to do my thing. So shout out to me for not caring. That really took me a long way. And now I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and go to bed.